the party is its own worst enemy. When you look at what has actually destroyed the party, it's not some outside forces. It's all the party itself. Most people understand that if they go up against the regime, they're going to get in trouble very quickly. They're afraid not only of the CCP, but also of chaos that they think would follow. And the fact that chaos would follow the fall of the CCP is a, something that the CCP has created because there's no organized opposition to take over if, if they were to lose. From the first year of Xi Jinping's rule in 2013 uh, to today, the uh, access of Chinese women to health, uh, the economy, the political system, and the educational system has fallen uh, from 69th to 107th out of 144 countries. Clearly, when we're looking at the periphery of China, you know, Xinjiang, Tibet, Hong Kong, probably to a lesser extent, Inner Mongolia, you know, China has placed these regions. It's like living under a siege. They're living in a siege mentality. And, you know, the, the budget for internal security uh, uh, during Xi Jinping's time has almost tripled. Uh, so I think, you know, that demonstrates that you know, the party has not been terribly effective at engaging, uh, you know, these populations in really constructive ways. They might be saying what they fear they have to say or what it's pointless not to say because this is, it's like accepting the weather. This is the way things are. Uh, Andy referred to the older generation as thinking, well, the government's supposed to be that way. And so that's what we will do. The question we need to ask, I think, is not what do you say about your support of the government, but what would you say if you had good information and if you were free of this, what I call fossilized fear that everybody just gets used to.